Well, because I've been very fortunate to work with him for nearly 20 years of my life. He changed my life. And I worked also with Joseph Boyce uh, for many years, for 17 years. I worked also with Ma Marina Abramovich and uh, Magdalena Abakanovic and uh, many important artists. But Cantor is important because he was also presented at the Documenta. But he is a man of theatre. And also, you can see his beautiful drawings and his sculptures, and therefore he is the recipient of the Rembrandt Prize. Now, there's never been anyone in the world of theatre ever, ever, ever in a position to receive the Rembrandt Prize. Think of any one director who's been so honoured. Not possible. Only Cantor. Only Cantor. And he is a man who taught visual art, painting, and sculpture uh, in the academy in Krakow. And uh, he, he, he was a great teacher. So I brought him to Edinburgh as a teacher. Well, I have directed the most important part of the Edinburgh Festival, uh, an official festival, not the French, uh, which is the one where I could bring the avant-garde of Europe. Yeah. And I had to bring him because there, there was no knowledge of his genius in the English uh, idea of theatre. And what was the reception of... Uh, it was sensational. Nobody could believe it. Everybody said, it is impossible to forget what we saw. It's not theatre. It is theatre. It's not theatre. It's more than theatre. It's a work of... Yeah, yeah. Total. It's a gazant kunstwerk. A total artwork. But also... I presented Cantor and Boyce in collaboration, and they are both my friends, and they are collaborating, and I have wonderful evidence of Boyce in the play, in the production, as an actor, in Lovelies and Dowdies, you saw the film. So I hope that you could perhaps um, uh, conclude that this historic moment now, uh, where I've been working with these students and with their teachers, and how I have asked for the first time in history that this academy here will present something at the Edinburgh Festival, because my dream is to link the Edinburgh Festival with the Venice Biennale. Because I don't believe that Cantor is dead, I think he's uh, very much alive. Okay, I think much very he was, the he was the personification of suffering Europe, of Europe during the war, and after the war, when Europe was given to Russia, to communist Russia, Soviet Russia, and uh, the Poles, and Cantor, and all the members of Krico were in prison. I, I persuaded the Polish government, the communist government, to give me permission bring him up. <laughs> and he, uh, he, he came, came yes. in 1972. I brought boys to Edinburgh in 1972. I think this year's festival in Venice lacks uh, this uh, dimension of capital. And I have brought, therefore, my idea of a, a dimension of Cantor here is deliberately, especially. And so this is um, a gift to the festival. The festival will be in August.
Absolutely. And the reason why I don't want to be delayed is when you are 84 years of age, you don't plan something for next year or the year after. You do it at once. So we invite all the people to come.